Hi there, my name is Cahill Richardson. I'm the Aquatics Director down at Camp Tonakita in the Gulf Stream Council. I've been asked today to show you how to make a soda bottle plankton net. We're going to use the materials on the table and get started. For the materials, we're going to need one 2 liter bottle with cap, one nylon knee high stocking, nylon rope about 9 feet, some duct tape, some scissors, a hole punch, and a small collection jar. All right, step one, we need to cut the bottle into three pieces. There we go. First thing we're going to do is take off the cap, set it aside. We want to measure and mark three inches down for the first cut, and then four inches down from the first cut to the second cut. From the neck, we're going to cut down three inches, and then we're going to cut down four more inches right here. I'm going to use a little painter's tape to attempt to cut in a straight line. That's straight ish. There we go. Now, we don't need the bottom, and go ahead and set that to the side. The next step is to take the stocking and cut a small hole in the toe. That looks, that looks small to me. Now we're gonna slide the top of the bottle through the stocking until the neck pokes out the hole. like so. Now we're going to attach the middle section of the bottle to the other side of the stock. The next step, we're going to hole punch three holes on the top section. Now we're going to take the rope and cut it into three three foot sections. Nice. Now we're going to take those three sections and tie them into the holes that we just made. Okay, now we're going to take the three ends and tie them together to make a toe line. And there we have it. Our plankton net from a soda bottle. All right, you're gonna take your homemade net and trail it through the water. Be sure not to drag it on the bottom or you're gonna get a whole bunch of sand in there. So we're gonna let it fill up. I'm gonna hold the rope and trail it around. Now the plankton will gather on the nylon. 
while it's still in the water, you want to squeeze it down into the collection cup here. So you're going to take this collection cup and you're going to put it into your collection bottle. Open the lid. There you go. Now we can take our collection jar and put it under a microscope and see what we found.